Hello lovely, it's Rod Dang Drug Fox here. I hear what you all said. And so I'm gonna be posting another Iron Maiden what if and then I'm gonna try to go to the piggy what if. So here we go. Where I left off is where Deku's at the age of 14. He's been working out every single night. And it shows. Like, people, even though he's basically metal, his body's moving like like normal human flesh. And so, what people do in the orphanage is that they bring Deku down to the basement and whip him and because he's metal it doesn't do a lot of damage like you could tell that he's being hurt but he he feels nothing he always like giggles or laughs because it feels nothing to him it feels like a little tickle but he's basically being punished for doing something that he wants to do and he knows he's not gonna get adopted. So he decides to sneak out. And the thing is, they use iron chains. A thing that Deku could basically break. And I'm sorry for forgetting how to... Well, I forgot to explain his entire quirk. So, basically, what Deku's quirk works once Deku decides to punish someone like he's a, basically a judge and executioner he could judge someone by the moral that they have the reasons that they have that moral and what they actually are like once he sees like mountain lady or someone that does not deserve to be a hero but people are, but she's doing it for like reasons for money and fame. When Deku sees that, she'd be gone. Like, how it works is Deku opens up his body and then change co chains come flying out to the person, wrapping them around, immobilizing their entire body, just leaving their head open. And because Deku's basically an iron maiden which is taller than a normal size human which the normal height is either 5.7 but in the quark world it's literally like I, some some people have literally <laughs> 6 point something Deku's basically 9 feet tall like, when he's, like, in the age of 14, he doesn't look that tall, but when he gets to the age of 16, he's literally 9 feet tall. And that's where he's gonna be for a while until he grows up even more. Like, he is tall. At the age of 14, he's at least 8 feet tall. Okay, uh, where I left off is where change immobilizes them their body down like their head is out so they could scream and beg for mercy or help but once those chains are chains are wrapped around the person there's nothing to do like even if you beg scream or anything there's nothing to do your life has been basically ended and you are screwed the next thing you know, you're trapped inside the Iron Maiden as the doors close, as you feel something sharp spiked through your heart, as you scream and beg for mercy and help, as the last thing you hear is your own muffled screams, and a little giggle coming from inside. And after that... The body gets found on the edge of the road. That's what's gonna happen once Deku uses his quirk. To the fullest. Okay, sorry about that. And... So, after a while, the beating gets worse and worse, but Deku doesn't feel it, and so he decides to leave. He breaks the chains that are around his ankles and wrist and neck. 
and he starts leaving. One, one of the caretakers tried to stop him, but since Deku's quirk mainly revolves around judgment, he judges the person and see how they are, which is not good. Like, if you are a bad person and Deku judges you, you're dead. But if you're a good person with bad morals, you're dead. If you're a good person with good morals, you're safe. Until Deku decides to skewer your arm. Like, Deku does not go without something of yours. Like, he could take a body part of yours, and that's it. So be careful with his judgment. That's all I'm saying in this what if. Careful with his judgment, because he could be blind as a bat. Which is true, because he wraps a banana around his eyes. After he judges the person, remember, he's 8 feet tall. This guy is around 5 feet tall. Which is actually kind of short. As Deku grabs his torso and opens it. Chains come flying out, grabbing the person, immobilizing him. As he gets pulled into Deku's body. That sounds wrong. Well, Iron Maiden. As the door is shut, the only thing he, the guy hears is muffled laughter coming from the young boy. As his screams are echoed out into the entire nursery until they're gone. Deku goes back into the basement and leaves the body in the basement, leaving it to rot, grabbing a, a weapon or two, putting them in his back. Like, anyone who doesn't know, and this is not a good picture of representation, like, if the person doesn't die from the Iron Maiden, sorry for background noises, uh, the, there's little weapons behind the Iron Maiden, which the executioner takes out and opens a little hole in the Iron Maiden, which is above, like, these things right here. Those are where the ankles are. And right here, which is where normally the head is, or normally is the lungs. And the weapons that they take out is actual more skewers. And they're more wider and more thin so they could fit through it. And skewers the lungs and legs so it could be immobilized, which they do the legs first and then the lungs. But 99% of times, the person dies from the Iron Maiden instead of the Executioner, which used the Iron Maiden. By that means, they don't use the weapons. They they just let the Iron Maiden do its work. And so, um, the thing that Deku does to the person in the basement is, this is the most glorious part in this what if right now. Uh, if you are kind of young and you want to continue, this is at your own risk. And it's not my fault because you guys wanted this. So what he does is he opens, well, he uses one of the metallic skewers and pins the person down, arms, legs, and then throat. He grabs the pair of scissors that they used to torture him with, which mainly roughed up his body, but not to the point where it's dangerous to him. As he cuts the person open and starts playing with the liver, the heart, the stomach, and the lungs. And after that, he goes to the head. As the last thing Deku knows, because Deku's losing his focus right now, because he's blacking out. The rest of the stuff after this is... In Deku's body. Like he. Deku doesn't know what he done. But. His body does. Like he does it. Actually no. He doesn't. He's. Uh, what Deku does. Is he goes to the head. He grabs the jaw. 
and rips it open, leaving the top of the jaw flung open from the bottom. As he grabs a pair of needles, cutting the top of the mouth and moving a lot of stuff around, going towards the brain, messing it up, scooping out the eyes as well. As Deku starts giggling and laughing, no matter what, this never stopped. As he took an axe and plunges it straight in the forehead of the person that he killed. As Deku did that two more times until the head split open. As he removes the brain and also splits the head even farther down. As he took all the weapons that he used, put it behind him, well on his back, and then leaves. And this is at night, so Deku is basically doing his midnight workout right now. As he's basically in the forest. And because he's basically metal, he loses a lot of mobility and also he could rust. Which is not a problem to him because... It basically does nothing. To him and to his body, it's basically a battle scar. Yes, Rust is a battle scar for him. As at daytime, when the people in the nursery came to check on Deku to punish him even more, they found a dead body. That was mainly mauled and ripped to shreds. The person was still recognizable. And they called the police. They explained what happened. And once they look into the basement. They realized there was chains. Broken ones. Tor torture weapons. And the body. And were left of shackles and ankle chains. The police ch did a background check on everyone and everything in the nursery. They realized one person who is now a 14 year old is no longer in the nursery. And one person in the police force had like a mind manipulation. This will be Shinzo's ma. As she does what Shinzo did, she hypnotizes one of the nursery contenders and asks them what happened. Well, both of them. As what they hear from the nursery people was disturbing. They locked up a 14-year-old boy with a quirk that is similar like the Iron Maiden back then in rural times and torture him down there. As they were arrested, the body was laid to rest, and they put out a missing form for the child. And what was told on the news was horrific. But that will be all for another one. See you then, everybody.